Pumping Iron Cast, then and now. Number 1. Mike Katz A former NFL player and IFBB professional bodybuilder, Mike Katz is probably best known for his cameo in Pumping Iron. The first part of the film documents the life of Mike Katz. Now age 78, Mike went on to forge a successful career as a gym owner after retiring from bodybuilding in 1981. He now owns five different gyms throughout the Connecticut region, which he runs in conjunction with his son Mike Katz Jr. On a tastier note, Mike has recently gone into the pizza business. Number 2. Matty Ferrigno Matty Ferrigno was the father of Lou Ferrigno. Matty was a driving force behind Lou's bodybuilding career. Matty was employed as a New York City policeman until his retirement as a lieutenant in 1983. He died on August 21, 2003, following a lengthy battle with stomach cancer. Number 3. Ken Waller Ken Waller's probably best known for his bad guy role in the movie Pumping Iron. Ken played a cunning and insincere character who tried to disturb Mike Katz's concentration by taking his lucky t-shirt. It was one of the most infamous scenes in the entire movie. Because of this act, Ken was often booed by the public as people didn't know the whole scene was staged, just to add drama to the movie. In reality, Ken and Mike were good friends. He officially retired from competition in 1981. Ken is currently 80 years old. Number 4. Ed Corny Corny will be remembered for one of the most iconic scenes from bodybuilding's most famous docudrama. The scene in Pumping Iron switches to Gold's Gym in Venice Beach, California, where Arnold Schwarzenegger and his training partner, Ed Corny, are doing multiple sets of squats. Corny had a brain aneurysm on December 25, 2018, and died on January 1, 2019, at the age of 85 in Houston, California. Number 5. Victoria Ferrigno Victoria Ferrigno is the mother of Lou Ferrigno. We do not have any information about Victoria at this time. However, in 2017, Lou Ferrigno posted a video of him shopping with his mother on his social media. Number 6. Danny Padilla You might remember Danny from his cameo bit part in Pumping Iron, the young, impressionable kid sitting in the quiet auditorium watching the under 200-pounders hit their poses on stage. Chuckling with Arnold about Franco the Bat, Danny was ordered to pull out the 1975 Olympia minutes before the show because the USA could only have two members on their amateur team. And because Pumping Iron featured Katz and Waller as their primary focus, Padilla was told to step aside. The filmmakers were forced to cut the majority of his scenes from the film because the IFBB did not want the whole incident depicted in the movie. Today, the giant killer works as a personal trainer. Since 2018, Danny's also serving as the executive board of IFBB Physique America. Number 7. Paul Grant Paul Grant was a Welsh bodybuilder who won titles such as Mr. Europe and Mr. World. Paul moved near Venice Beach, California in the early 1970s, where he trained at Gold's Gym with Arnold and appeared in the 1976 documentary Pumping Iron. Alongside bodybuilding, Paul was a respected food store owner. Unfortunately, he died at the age of 60 on November 23, 2003. Number 8. Eddie Giuliani Though Eddie Giuliani didn't dabble in the world of acting too much, fans seem to remember him from Pumping Iron. The legendary bodybuilder appeared in 35 contests across four decades highlighted by his Mr. World win in 1975. He retired in 1982 when he finished fifth in Mr. Globe. Eddie passed away on May 1, 2022 at the age of 87. Number 9. Tony Novak Tony Novak was well known in the bodybuilding world and played himself as Big Tony in the landmark Pumping Iron film. He died on April 6, 2010 in Santa Monica, California. Number 10. Marianne Claire Marianne was the famous ballet dancer and teacher that appeared in the beginning of the film Pumping Iron. The opening scene's quite famous and one of the most memorable parts of the film as it introduces the film and bodybuilding as an art and sport. Unfortunately, not much is known about Marianne Claire, and we've tried to search more on this particular ballet instructor, but the information we have to admit has been scarce. Number 11. Serge Nubray In the classic bodybuilding film Pumping Iron, Nubray's described as a last-minute contestant, but in an interview with Bodybuilding.com, Nubray tells a different story. The camera crew came to Paris to film me four weeks before and offered me $200 to be in the movie. I did not agree to be filmed for $200. It's why I'm not in the movie that much, only in the competition part. Nubray placed second to Arnold Schwarzenegger in the 1975 Mr. Olympia. In March 2009, Nubray fell into a coma, eventually dying on the 19th of April 2011 of natural causes. Number 12. Bill Grant Bill Grant's a golden-era bodybuilding legend who also appeared in movies such as Hustler of Muscle Beach and Pumping Iron. And not only is he still alive today, but he looks incredible at age 77. Bill transferred his knowledge of fitness and nutrition to the personal training industry and founded Bill Grant Nutrition. Number 13. Denny Gable Denny Gable was a bodybuilder and actor in the late 70s, known for movies like Sextet and Pumping Iron. During his time in Venice, Denny trained with the likes of Arnold Schwarzenegger, Franco Colombo, 
and Robbie Robinson. Denny died of a heart attack on July 22, 2000 in Cedar Rapids at the age of 49. Number 14. Roger Callard Roger was training with Arnold Schwarzenegger at the Gold's Gym and was also seen in the two bodybuilding films Mr. Universe and Pumping Iron. Roger won a string of contests in his 10-year-long competitive career. Some of his best results on stage include winning the 1975 Mr. USA, 1977 Mr. America, and 1978 Mr. International. After his retirement from bodybuilding in 1984, Roger began to focus on his acting career. He appeared in numerous TV shows, movies, and parodies over the years. Today, after moving back to the family farm in Michigan with his wife, Roger continues acting and writing. Number 15. Dave Dupree Very few people know about Dave. Dave Dupree was seen posing at the beginning of the film Pumping Iron. He's won more than 30 titles, including Mr. Western America, Mr. International, and Mr. Americana. Not much information about Dave is available on the internet after the Pumping Iron movie. We found two photos of Dave on the internet. The first photo is from 2007 at Venice Beach, and the second is from 2015, in which he was seen with his friends. Apart from these two photos, there's no update about Dave Dupree. Number 16. Wes Brown and George Culp Remember that scene from Pumping Iron where Arnold's showing a small young bodybuilder how to pose? His name is Wes Brown, and the guy with the mustache in the scene was George Culp. They were both amateur bodybuilders, and they had both competed in the Mr. North Carolina bodybuilding competition. After retiring from bodybuilding, Wes Brown opened his own gym called Brown's Gym. He still does some personal training on the side. This photo of George was from 2006, in which he was looking very healthy even at the age of 56. We do not have any information about George at this time. Number 17. Robbie Robinson Robbie trained with the greats and was one of the stars of the Pumping Iron documentary. Today, at age 76, Robinson still lifts, and he shares how he forged the strength to face any challenge. He's remained active in various ways, including as a personal trainer and bodybuilding coach. Number 18. Franco Columbu In addition to starring alongside Schwarzenegger in the 1977 movie Pumping Iron, he's famously known for winning the Mr. Olympia title in 1976 and 1981. Italian bodybuilder and actor Franco Columbu died at the age of 78 in August 2019. Number 19. Lou Ferrigno Ferrigno became a household name in 1977 with the success of Pumping Iron. His attempt to beat Arnold Schwarzenegger was the subject of the 1977 documentary Pumping Iron. As an actor, he's best known for portraying the title role in the CBS television series The Incredible Hulk. As a bodybuilder, Ferrigno won an IFBB Mr. America title and two consecutive IFBB Mr. Universe titles. Ferrigno has his own line of fitness equipment called Ferrigno Fitness. Apart from owning and marketing his line of fitness equipment, he's still associated with the TV industry, with his most recent work being the role of Lenny Montana in the miniseries The Offer. Number 20. Arnold Schwarzenegger The man who brought bodybuilding into the mainstream needs no introduction. It was Mr. Olympia 1975 that would help him become a movie star, thanks to his participation in the documentary Pumping Iron. After retiring from bodybuilding in 1980, Schwarzenegger went on to become a cheesy action movie star, the governor of California, an environmental activist, and a successful entrepreneur. The 75-year-old keeps in impressive shape to this day, training every morning with weights for half an hour and regularly riding a bike around each new city he visits. Number 21. Charles Gaines the book Pumping Iron and the later film of the same title were written and narrated by Charles Gaines. During a long and varied writing career, Charles Gaines has published 25 books. Gaines is active in the conservation movement, and he served on the board of directors of the Atlantic Salmon Federation. Number 22. George Butler George co-directed Pumping Iron with Robert Fiore. Butler's films are known for their combination of high artistic, educational, and entertainment values, as he believed well-crafted documentaries can hold their own against dramatic features. Butler died from pneumonia in Holderness, New Hampshire, on the 21st of October 2021 at the age of 78.